If you're new to the world of Mahjong, Cantonese style is the best place to start. It's the easiest version to learn, especially if you use Hong Kong old style scoring. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist if you want to learn how to play. I'm going to do some random pulls. They're kind of a what would you do scenario. And I'm going to do four of those. This might give you an idea of what it's like to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're going to do four random pulls, east, south, west, and north. So we'll start with east and we'll start with one fawn and progress up to four. That's a scoring element, like a point. I'm going to roll the dice just to determine which seat we're in, one, two, three, or four. In this case, I rolled a four. So let's just say hypothetically, that we're in seat four. That is actually not part of the game. And again, you can look at the playlist below to learn how to do all the mechanics of the game, like which seat you're in and things like that. So for non-dealer, we're gonna get 13 tiles. We're looking for one fawn, one fawn. For this set of tiles, I think I would try all chow. All chow would be th all three in a sequence plus a pair. Let's see. So here we have a potential chow, one, two, a pair, seven, eight, seven, eight, so that's one, two, three potential chows. These are isolated. This is another pair. We could say this is a chow, seven, eight, nine, um, but then we need to have four sets in a pair. So I think I would break that up. So for example, if we do it this way, we have a potential chow here, 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 and here. The challenge is going to be with the weights. Here we have a side weight where we need a one bam or a four bam to complete it. That's a strong weight. The pair is good. This is called a closed weight. That's pretty weak because we need the number in the middle of the two. This is a closed weight and this is called an edge weight. This is also weak where we need the seven on the edge. Anytime you have a terminal, a one or a nine, that's going to be an edge weight. Unless of course it's for a pung like in this case, three of a kind, we can turn that into a three of a kind. So here we would have one, two, three, four, five blocks, four potential chows and a pair. So this hand is set in that regard, but the weights are weak. So during the pick and discard phase of the game, I would try to improve each of the weaker weights to be a side weight like this. unless it came in or just we drew into chows, of course. So that's what I would play here. This would be a two fawn hand, no flowers, all chow. Now we're gonna do south round, and let's say we need two fawn to win. I rolled an eight, that would equate to seat four multiples of four would be seat four, which is north. North is non-dealer, so we will get 13 tiles. No flowers, that's a fawn. No flowers is a fawn. We do have a pair of dragons, which is nice because any pair of dragons can easily become a pahong, which is a fawn all by itself. Oh look, there's another one. We've got a fawn right there, a pung of dragons. Dragons are quite valuable if you can pair them up or pung them. We do have some isolated wins and we have an equal number of bams and dots. So I would just try to play either bams or dots depending on how the drawing goes, but I would pick a suit and play a half flush 
no flowers, and then a pung of dragons. So this would be a three fawn hand if we saw it to the end with a half flush. Even if we drew a flower that wasn't our own seat, we would lose the no flower fawn. We would still have two, we would actually have three fawn because a half flush is, th is three fawn plus the dragon pung would be another fawn. This would be a four fawn hand depending on how the flowers come in. So three or four fawn, no four, excuse me, four or five fawn would be the score for this if we saw it to the end. These single honors can do us no good unless we pair them up so we can maybe have a pair or a pung, which is three of a kind. The only exception is a hand called 13 Orphans, which is in the player reference, and that is in the links below the video. Now we're going to play West Round, and we'll say we need three fawn this time. We're going to be in seat six, or I rolled a six, which means we're in seat two, south. So we're in seat two and it's west round. For this set of tiles, I would try for a half flush. We need three fawn. Half flush is three fawn. Here we have a potential chow, potential chow, pair or potential pung. We would need to pair up the dragons and maybe get a pung in there. I would need to sacrifice a pair here. I think what I would do is hold the three bams for as long as possible and get rid of these first. If we got more pairs in here, we could switch to all pung, which is all three of a kind, and it's just fine to mix suits with pungs. That would be a three fawn hand as well. So it's a good option to a half flush if you pair up other suits. You just don't want to mix suits with different, or mix chows with different suits. That's what's going to drive your score down by three. Mixing suits with pungs is okay. If you would do something different with these, write that in the comments section if you already know how to play. But I think half flesh is what I would try. So now we're gonna go to the north round and we'll say that you need four fawn this time. And we'll say we're in west seat because I rolled a three. Okay, I would play half flush again, no flowers. That would be a four fawn hand. Half flush would be winds and dragons with one suit. I'd have five discards, which is a little long. If you have four discards, that's better, of course, four or less. But the nice thing about this set of tiles is we have a potential pung, a potential chow. Here's another potential chow. We could even make that a chow. So we have one, two, three blocks. We need definitely to draw in more dots or pair up that dragon. And we have no flowers. So three fawn for half flesh plus a fawn for no flowers, that would be four fawn. And get rid of these first. Not a single flower in sight for those random pulls. Flowers are bonus tiles. They're numbered one through four, and if you get your seat flower, you get a fawn for that. So that can really help if there's a high fawn minimum. Otherwise, you have to make the combination of your tiles in your hand make up for that missing element. It's a challenge, and you've got to get there faster than anybody else at the table. That's one of the reasons why this game is so much fun to play. It's quite strategic, actually. If your hand is weak, you could always switch to defense and just sabotage everybody's hand. There's more about strategy in the links below the video, so check that out if you haven't learned how to play yet. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.